say to my tongue oh, 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 oh. Jesus you love me So 
Let's bless him. Let's bless him. 
Come on, lift your voice up and just worship him. Forever you will be the lamb upon the throne. Oh, oh, oh. I gladly bow my knees. Oh, oh, oh. to worship you, my Lord. Come and lift your hands. If you're seated, let, please let's all rise up as we worship the Lord. Except you're on your knees. Come on, let's rise up. Please lift your hands up. Except you're on your knees. Hallelujah. Forever you will be the lamp upon the throne. I gladly bow my knees to worship you. Come and lift your hands. Make it a prophetic declaration tonight. To worship you alone. Say forever you will be. Forever you will be the lamb upon the throne. The lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow my knee. I gladly bow. give God praise. Let's heaven hear your, your voice tonight. Come on, bless him. Begin to give him praise for everything he is. He's faithful, he's gracious. Come on, lift your voice. Come on, worship him, worship him. He's a mighty God. Come on, bless him, bless him, bless him. Come on, worship him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Let's worship him, let's give him praise, let's give him glory. Come on, let's heaven hear your voice tonight. If you know the importance of this service, you will not play. You will not play with the importance of your presence here tonight. Lift your voice and just begin to bless him. Come on, bless him, bless him, bless him. Come on, bless him, bless him. Bless him, bless him. Come on, worship him. If you know the importance of this service, you will not play tonight. If you know what God is doing and he has done, you will not play tonight. Come on, lift your voice and just bless him. Come on, give me praise. Unprovoked, unprovoked thanksgiving. Unprovoked praise. Come on, worship him, worship him, worship him. Come on, give me 
me praise, give me praise, give me praise, give me praise. Worship is a faithful God. He's a mighty God. He's an awesome God. He's great. He's mighty. He's faithful. Come on, bless him, bless him. Bless him. divine appointment. Every form of disappointment in my life, Father, turn it around to what? Divine appointment. Who wants to pray that prayer? Listen, I'm going to teach you something tonight that will make you understand the importance of this service. What the enemy meant for evil, God has turned it around for good. Yes, sir. You don't understand. I will share a testimony that will blow your mind away. There are people, like I said, the devil is not outside. Satan is inside church. That's right, sir. See, but when the devil wants to scatter you, God has an agenda to gather your blessings. Yes, sir. When the enemy plans to frustrate you, God is only preparing the same enemy to prostrate before you by the reason of the power of his manifestation. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. We are going to pray tonight. Father, every form of disappointment in my life, turn it around for what? Divine appointment. You're going to lift your hands. You're going to cry. Listen to me. December 31st is two weeks away. The end of the year is two weeks away. We're going to be saying Happy New Year in less than what? About 14 days. But do you know that God is more than able to do great things that hasn't happened in your life of, in 14 years. He's able to do it in 14 days. Yes, are you listening to me? He's able to do it what? In 14 days. You are going to pray. Father, turn every disappointment in my life to what? Divine appointment. Who wants to pray? Yes, sir. This service is, is, is an anointing service for breaking the ground. You can never raise any structure without first laying foundation. And you cannot lay foundation without first breaking the ground. Is that true? Yes, sir. How I many of you have built houses? So you, when you buy a land, before you lay foundation, you must break what? The ground. But there are some types of ground that are too strong. You can't use shovel to break rock. You need, you need heavy artillery. 
heavy machinery. You are going to pray tonight. Father, every form of disappointment in my life so far, turn it around to what? Divine appointment. Lift your hands and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Every form of Disappointment in my life. Every form of disappointment. Every in my life. disappointment in my life. Every disappointment. Father, turn it around. Father, turn it around. For divine appointment. For divine appointment. Turn it around. Turn it around. For divine appointment. For divine appointment. Turn it around. For divine appointment. For divine appointment. Lift your voice. Open your mouth. Begin to cancel out disappointment. Begin to prophesy divine appointment into your life and over your life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lord, turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Every disappointment. Every disappointment. Turn it around. Lift your voice and pray. Every disappointment. Every disappointment. Every disappointment. Are you praying? Every disappointment, turn it around. Divine appointment, divine appointment. Pray, 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 pray. Every disappointment in my life, when I turned around, divine appointment, divine appointment, divine appointment, divine appointment. Divine appointment, divine appointment. Turn it around, turn it around, divine appointment. Every disappointment, Lord, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. Sakatabayana, cancel it. Use your mouth to cancel. You are a product of your mouth. You are a product of your confession. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You're going to now pray before you have your seat tonight. Every gang up against my life. Every gang up against my life. Father, turn it around for my elevation. Amen. Every what? I mean, if you like our new hall. Yes, sir. If you're excited, someone shout glory. Glory. Thank you, thank you. That was for that was for your father at home. Uh -huh, it's good to clap for our parents at home. Now you're going to clap for Jesus. I will share testimony when I'm preaching. You know, when people gang up against you, don't don't fight your battle. Yes, Leave sir. it for God. Live, see, if you are still fighting your battle, it means that you don't know the God that you serve. Gang up against you means there is something about you that the devil knows. The devil doesn't attack nobody. You don't pluck, you don't pluck green fruits. You throw sticks to ripe fruits. If you are experiencing stones, stones being thrown at you, it means that there is an agenda of God about your life that the devil doesn't like. But if you lack understanding, you will react. But when you have understanding, you respond. Response is taking it to the Lord in, in, in prayer and let him fight for you. The Bible talks, tells us that God is the man of war. What the enemy meant for evil, that thought of, you know, the last message I preached in Dagenham was that which you thought, if that evil you thought against me, God meant it for good. Amen. What the enemy meant for evil, God has done it for good. Look at the beauty of this place. And believe you me, by next week Sunday, it will be upgraded. Amen. Upper Sunday, it will be upgraded. Amen. We are, we are going to buy a stadium very soon. Eh? We will buy what? A stadium and it will be called the Haven. Yes, sir. Eh? Somebody shout, Jesus! Jesus. We are going to pray. Listen, this prayer I am going to take. Father, crown my year with goodness. Crown my year with what? With goodness. It doesn't matter how bad things might look. It doesn't matter how rough things might be. 
But when God is in operation, when God is in charge, you don't miss your opportunities for blessings. You don't miss your opportunities for turn around. You're going to pray, Father, crown my ears. Say, listen, if God can do this, now watch this. How can I tell you that God will bless you and you don't first see it on me? How can I tell you that God will make a way for you and you don't see make a way for me? How can I tell you that God will lift you up and it's, a, and it's a casting down for me. It's impossible. You don't give what you don't have. Yes, Am I communicating? You do not give what you don't have. If a naked man offers you shirt, you will tell him to put on the shirt first. If a naked person offers you cloth, you tell him, no, you need the cloth more than I do. You're going to tap prayer upon you, then you have your seat. You're going to say, Father, crown my year with what? Your goodness. I want you to picture everything that this year has brought to you. It's time to forget about the negativities and what seems to be the impossibilities. And it's time to talk to the Father to crown your year with goodness. You will cry. I'm, I'm going to give you three minutes. And please feel free if you want to come to the altar and lay your hands here and pray. Before you take... This is, like I said, it's not a... a we don't do church. It's a service where we want gatherings where people will be impacted. So you come to the altar if you want to. If you want to, if you're comfortable in your seat, you stay there. But you're going to say, Father, crown my year with your goodness. Three minutes, begin to pray where you are. Crown my year with your goodness, oh God. Crown my year with your goodness. Crown my year. Lebosh. Crown my year with your goodness. Crown my year with your goodness. Crown my year with your goodness. Crown my ear, crown my ear. If you want to come out and pray and touch the altar, please feel free. Crown my ear with your goodness. Thou that crowned the ear with goodness. Crown my ear with your goodness, oh God. Lift your voice and begin to pray where you are. Crown my ear with your goodness. Crown my ear with your goodness. Crown me to God. Crown my ear with your goodness. Echo satire. Leko Crown my ear with your goodness. 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 Crown it, crown it, crown it. Crown it, crown it, crown it, crown it. With your goodness, with your goodness. Crown it, oh God. Crown my ear, Lord. You have two more minutes to pray. Please pray, 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 pray. Let my ear be crowned with goodness. Let my ear be crowned with goodness. Crown it. Let my ear be crowned with goodness. Let my ear be crowned with goodness. You have one minute to pray. Please open your mouth and pray. Crown my ear with your goodness. Crown my ear with your goodness. Crown my ear with your goodness. I have 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. Crown it, oh God. My ear with your goodness. Please pray, pray, pray. Crown my ear with your goodness, oh God. Crown my ear with your What seems to be good, make it better. What seems to be better, make it best. Crown it, oh God. Crown it, oh God. Crown it, oh God. Jesus. Amen. And as you've cried, so shall it be. Amen. Everything you have you are expecting God to do for your life. Yes, Lord. I prophesy manifestations. Amen. Right? In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please pick up your Bibles quickly. Pick up your Bibles quickly in your hands. Pick up your Bibles quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. And let's open our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 43.
I'm reading from verse 15. Isaiah 43, 15. Isaiah chapter 43. I'm reading verse 15. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 15. I am the Lord, your holy one, the creator of Israel, your king. Thus says the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. Verse 17. Which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. Extinct. They are quenched as stone. Verse 18. It says, remember ye not the former thing. Tell anybody, remember not the former things. Remember not the former things. Things. Neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. I thought someone shout, Amen. 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 Behold, I will do a new thing. Amen. Now it shall spring forth. Ye shall not know it. Shall, shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I thought someone shout, Amen. Amen. Verse 20 says, The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to drink to my people, my chosen. Look at verse 21, quickly says, The people I have formed for myself, they shall show forth my words, my praise. I want you to walk to seven people. And you tell them your life will show forth the praise of God. If the if the person don't say to you, please change the name. Your, your, your life will show forth the praise of God. Your life will show forth the praise of God. Your life will show forth the praise of God. The praise of God. Amen. Your life will show forth the praise of God. Your life will show forth. Your life will show forth the praise of God. Show forth the praise of God. Your life will show forth. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. God bless you. Those who have made it, God bless you. Um, I know a few people have not been aware that um, we're back, and some people send messages when I was happening. You know, please excuse us. So many things, you see, we're still working. Amen. I left here this morning. I got home around um, about quarter past nine this morning. Yes. We, we, we were here. The, some, some people even were here till then. We were working till about quarter past nine. Sorry, t till this morning, about 7.30 a.m. I left here. Drove up north. Got Because I live up north. Many of you don't know. You think I live in London. I live up north. Two, about one hour, 45 minutes drive away got home, about quarter past nine, got dressed, <laughs> started coming back. Hallelujah. So please, um, excuse many things, but even with this, God is good. 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 If this is all God has done, he is good. If it, this is all God is doing, I am grateful. Am I communicating here? Somebody shout, God is good. Please be seated. I bring us a message titled, I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. I want to say God bless everyone. Everyone that's been toiling and laboring all week. The work carries on next week anyway. Tomorrow Sunday, tomorrow Monday we're here. And it doesn't stop there's work to be done. <laughs> Amen. This week, you know, we've had the, what just eight hours sleep in the whole week. We will work till about six, <laughs> six a.m. I remember on, on was it on on, on um, Thursday we were, we were sleeping when people were going to work. We we're going to bed at eight a.m. when people were just going to the office. This week, all the appointments on the admin line I cancelled all. I will not come and kill myself. <laughs> 
Amen. But God is good. Amen. I bring us a message titled, I will do a new thing. For those that will catch up with this message on Apostolic TV later, please forgive us. We couldn't go live because obviously production and going live, it's a lot of um, preparation, which I believe by next week Sunday, we'll be ready to minister. Are we on Zoom yet? Okay, when we go on Zoom, let me know as well. I will do a new thing. Child of God, that is what the Lord has promised us. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God is about to do something new in your life. God is about to do something new in your life. Take your eyes off the old things. Take your eyes off the old things. Take your eyes off the old things. Take your eyes off the old Keep your things. eyes on the new thing. Keep your eyes on the Keep new your thing. Keep your eyes on the new thing. Because God is about to do something new. God is about to God do is about new. to do something new. God is about to do something, God is about to do something new. God is about to do something in new. your life. In your life. Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in a time where a lot is happening. We've gone from COVID, now we have Omicron. Where diseases are getting alienating names. Now we've gone from taking off face masks to wearing face masks again. In the year 2020, the Hebrew calendar, it was the year of the mouth. Meaning God said he wanted the mouth of his people to raise praise to him. That was the calendar of the Jewish year last year. The year of the mouth. But humanity was hit with a virus that made the mouth covered. Everything you see is not only scientific. Everything you see is spiritual. There is nothing that happens in the realms of man without first happening in the celestial. What you are seeing now says Omicron. Two months ago, I prophesied. The Lord said, this year we end rough for the world. How many of you remember the prophecy? But I said, for those who are in God, it will end well. For us. Am I communicating here? Yes, sir. It was, it will end well, well for us. Just the month of November, the first week, November the third, I was at home when the admin line rang, and then it was brought to my attention whilst I was working at home, telling me, Apostle, you need to pack your things and leave Dagenham because the banks have come to repossess the place. I said, What kind of no notification operation is this? And we're giving less than 27 days to move. In London, you don't find a building in that short space of time. Those that are in ministry, Pastor Brennan, you know what I'm talking about. It don't just happen. Everything looked gloom and looked doomed. But God had a plan. God had a plan. Child of God, when you are going through something, God has a plan. It might look like God is quiet through his silence is walking behind the scene. We serve a God who doesn't just talk, is a doer and he overdoes. Am I communicating here? He's a doer and he overdoes. But we get to a stage where we get so consumed by the possibilities of doing things by our own selves and by our own power. We get to a place where we get to where we get so comfortable with logical reasoning and we fail to engage God divinity's capacity to reason for us. Many people drink paracetamol for God's migraine. It's time to let God start thinking for you and stop getting stressed. When the news came, I said, Lord, what are we to do? The first thing that came to me was, how can I tell the members? As a leader, the first thing that comes to your mind is the members. The second thing that comes to mind is the gathering. The third thing that comes to mind is what? The programs that have been planned. I said, Lord, what are we to do next? And then I went into prayer. And the Lord said, I will do a new thing. But that time, it did not look possible. It made no sense. We were looking for properties everywhere. We didn't see any. Until a call came about this complex. This complex you are seeing is a 100 million pound project. From this road all the way to the cathedral out there and to the back parking space. They, they want to plant um, skyscrapers like you see coming into Canning Town. When I came here for a meeting with the owners, out of 80 million people in the UK approximately, why is it the man that will play a very pivotal role in Dagenham and here in Canning Town that I met. 
Whilst we were talking, the man said, um, 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 he, he called me Reverend John. Reverend John, why are you in a hurry? Why are you rushing? Why must you move? What is going on? Why are you, uh, are you being chased? Have you committed any I said, no, I didn't commit any crime. We didn't do anything wrong. We were told that our building was about to be repossessed by the banks. And we're given, without any warning, 21 days or so to get out. 21, 27 days to leave. So that's why you see us in a haste to find a place. And the man said, okay, we'll come back next week to meet. I said, sir, this is not a next week matter. We have by 24 hours to pack out from where we are because at this time already it was the 31st, the, the end of November, the back end of it. And the man said, okay, can you tell me where, where, where is your church? Where was, where was your church? The, old, the building you were using for church. I said, oh, we, we used to be in Dagenham. He went, oh, Dagenham. And he said, um, we're in Dagenham. I said, Broad Street. And you could see like a light bulb lit on his head. And he said, Broad Street, Dagenham, 121. I said, yes, that's the address. I said, how did you know? He said, do you know that that building that they told you was going to, repos to be repossessed is a lie? I bought it. The man that owns this complex is the one that bought Dagenham. You see God? So the people that thought they were ganging up against me, they did not know they were pushing me to the person that I need to meet. Now listen to me, listen to me. The story is getting sweeter. Someone say sweeter. Get your cup of tea ready. I said, excuse me. He said, yes. I, I know. He started calling the names of the people I deal with for Dagenham. I said, how do you know them? He said, because I have, I have bought the building from, from them. So if they are telling you that the bank is about to repossess, that's a lie. Now, I said, so, I said, okay, that's fine. That is your business. But me, I want to move. I need to come here. What's happening? He said, you don't need to rush. Go back to them and tell them, so, 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 so person said, they should not touch your property. If they do, they will answer to me. And I went back to them and I said, this person said, they said, how did you know this man? I said, God led me to him. We moved out of Dagenham. You see, the enemy will still try even when it looks like you are winning. People get prophecies, they start seeing manifestations, then suddenly, suddenly, they think they've arrived. They disconnect. Was it Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday just gone. Yes, we were here when we got a call. They wanted to manipulate us to sign a document so that they can seize all our assets in the building. The same wicked people that God is graced. We five gathered vans. Then Brabiodo had to come from. He came from whatever country he comes from. <laughs> <laughs> from he came from Watford. We got advanced everywhere. We started loading that night. We packed everything. And then we got here. We got here. Some of the, some of the administrators said, Apostle, I don't see how this will work. We don't see it happening. How? How are you going to do this? I said, listen, there is a plan. If I say put the wood there, just put the wood. The wood will not make sense. But when I put another wood there and they come together, it will piece together. This week has just been a week of different emotions. Whilst we're here walking, I won't mention them because of privacy. One of the members here, I'll call her my daughter. She said, she wants to testify. You know, I have seen people testify that God gave them car, God gave them money, God gave them life. But she said something here. She said, I have a testimony. I said, okay, yes, let's hear it. She heard that her grandchild died. But she is thanking God that she is here and privileged to be cleaning mud to build the auditorium. How many of you can testify like that? It's been a, a, a roller coaster week. A week of up, down, different emotion. If I catch my mattress and my pillow, after this, so the, the bed when I hit it, are you understanding me? A lot has happened, but one thing I 
know is that I kept my eyes on the Lord all through. I kept my eyes on the Lord all through. But let me make, let me make it even better. Just, um, was it the first day? Whilst we were here, a call came again on the admin line. The, the perpetrators of these things they called and they were begging. They said that morning God met them and God started beating them. They were asking for mercy, asking for... They were begging and begging. Listen, when God wants to elevate you, he will allow the enemy feel like he's disgracing you. When God wants to bless you, he will make things look like they're not working at all. All because God has an agenda. You must understand that when God wants to take you to a new level, you will first have to come down to then push higher. Am I communicating here? Don't look at what you are going through. Don't look at what it seems to what things seems to be but keep your eyes on Jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith I want to prophesy, prophesy. that your, the glory of this present house when I mean this present house I'm not talking about the structure I'm talking about you the glory of this present house shall be greater than that of the former the glory of your tomorrow shall be greater than that of the former the glory of your tomorrow your tomorrow shall be greater than that of the former in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Quickly. When the Lord said, I will do a new thing. I said, Lord, I have preached this message before. What is revelation here? The Lord said, focus on who is about to do the new thing. So if man tells you, I will do for you. It means whatever you will receive from his promise is based on his capacity to do. But if God is saying, I will do a new thing, whatever you receive is based on God's own capacity to do. So what does a new thing mean? Let's open up, get your Bibles and get your notepads and your pen at the same time quickly. What does it mean to do a new thing? Doing something new is getting rid of the old. When you enter a new season, you are getting rid of the old. A new thing. Tell your neighbor, a new thing. A new thing. Tell your neighbor, a new thing. A new thing. The Lord said, remember not the things of the old. Remember not the former things. What are the words for new things? You enter a new innovation. You enter an unfamiliar territory. Because why? It is new. Where you start to learn the technicalities of the new dimension you found yourself. What does it mean to enter something new? It means something which is currently in fashion. Something that is modern than where you were. Something that is a new season. Something completely different from where you, what, what you've experienced. What does it mean to do a new thing? A new thing can also be defined as what? Applying yourself to an unfamiliar territory. Applying yourself to an unfamiliar what? Territory. Forgetting the old. If you stick to the old, you will never enter the new. If you stick to the past, you, you will miss the blessing of the future. If you stick to what seems to be the greatness of your past, you will never enter the glory of your future. Many are stuck on what they've achieved in the past and they are failing to see what they can achieve in the future. Remember not the former things. Remember not the old things. Keep your eyes ahead. Your best days lies ahead of you, no matter what you are faced with. But the focus word, the focus revelation on this topic here is the fact that who is this person has promised to do a new thing? This is not man, but this is God saying, I will do a new thing. And there is no way I would have preached this message without having a physical confirmation that we can see. This place is 20 times, 20 times better than where we were. Can I get a witness here? How many of you, how many of you feel like you're in church? Uh -huh. You know, in Dagenham, I have to go through the corners. I'll be looking for people. But one view, I can see everybody. Eh? Both spiritual and physical. Remember not the former things. Who has promised us this world to do a new thing? We're talking about the Father. Who is this God? Let's open our Bibles quickly. 
Who is this God that has promised that he will do a new thing? Who is this God? Number one, he's a God of love. No matter how dejected you feel in life by what you are going through, God is a God of love. He loves you more than you know. Don't allow the reject of men make you see yourself as nothing. Don't allow the rejections in life make you feel isolated through life. He is a God of love. For God so loved, he gave. His love is not just a noun, but his love is a verb. It goes, but it goes beyond an identity toward practicalizing it. Who is this God, number two? Is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Are you listening to me? The God that has said he will do a new thing is the same yesterday, is the same today, is the same forever. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus, the same yesterday, is the same today and what? Forever. Who is this God number 3? 1 John chapter 1 verse 5. It is in a quote. This then is the message which you have heard of him and to declare to you, and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Meaning the God that has promised to do a new thing in your life is a God of light. No matter how dark situations must have been, no matter how dark things might be right now, the Bible says there shall be darkness upon the earth and gross darkness upon the people. But the Lord shall arise upon them and his glory shall be seen. There is this darkness upon the earth now. Government can no longer think. Government can no longer plan. Many have planned holidays and have cancelled it. Many have planned projects and programs and have cancelled it. Why? Because of the confusion by reason of a virus that science cannot find a cure to. But there is a God in heaven whose, whose light shines so bright and darkness cannot comprehend it. And I want to pray tonight that that light in God shall illuminate your life. Amen. The light in God shall illuminate your life. Amen. The light of God shall illuminate your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Number four. Who is this God? He's a God of mercy and favor. He's a God of what? Mercy and favor. Man might not forgive, but God forgives. See, it's only God that forgives and forgets. Don't let anybody fool you. Brother, you've got to forgive and forget. No, Apostle John, I forgive you, I don't forget. The day I start forgetting is called dementia, which I don't want. Eh? I don't want, I, my brain is not leaking, so I can't forget. I forgive, but the scar stays. But God is the only God that doesn't only forgive, but he forgets that you even performed, that you even did what you did. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 30 verse 5, it says, for his anger endured but a moment, but in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It's only God that forgets it. The mistakes of your past, he leaves it there. The error of your decisions, he keeps it, he doesn't use it to judge you. It's a God of favor. It's a God of mercy. And everything happens in a moment. I want to pray tonight. Every decision you have made this 2021 that seemed to be stopping you from actualizing all of your great plans. I prophesy that by the mercy and by the love of God, turn, things will turn around and you will end this year well in the name of Jesus. Amen. Things shall turn around and you shall end this year well in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number five. Who is this God? He is a God that gives good gifts. He is a God that gives what? Good gift. He is a God that gives what? Good gift. But I want to also tell you that this gift goes from good to perfect. The Bible says in James chapter 1 verse 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Not from man. Not from your father. Not from your mother. Not from your pastor. Every good and perfect gift, gift is from above and coming down from the Father of light with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. There are gifts, but they're not good. There are gifts, but they're not perfect. But in God comes the good and 
perfect. This year shall end perfected for you. Baby. I say this 2021. I speak to the remaining 14 days. I prophesy that you will enjoy the goodness of God that will perfect your life in the name of Jesus. Baby. I say you will enjoy the goodness of God that will perfect your life in the name of Jesus. Baby. I don't think you hear it. I am not just prophesying to you because I want to talk. There are people that will say uh, I prophesy and it's empty. I am speaking as a man that knows the God he serves yes, and we are seeing the evidence of the God I serve. Yes, sir. I prophesy Prophet that this year, Lord. the remaining 14 days of this 2021, it will end well for you. Hey. It will end well for you. Hey. It shall end well for you. Hey. It shall end well for you. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Please be seated. Who is this God number six? Is a perfector. God is a perfector. The Bible says in Psalm 18 verse 30, as for God, his way is perfect. It's only perfect men. Pastor Brandon, it's only perfect men that make, that walk with, with perfect ways. Yes, sir. As for God, his ways are perfect. But when it starts working, it looks like Lord, what is happening? It looks like what? What is happening? I can hear. Lord, what is happening? His ways are perfect. He's the one that makes every perfections in our life become perfect. The Bible says in First John, in First Peter chapter five verse ten, it says, "But the God of all grace, who has called us unto His eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, He said, I what perfect you." I will settle you. I will strengthen you. I will establish you. But for God, his ways are perfect. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 65, it says, his path drops fatness. The path God walks. Every, every, every footprint God leaves on the floor, it enriches you. Am I communicating? Why then do we think that we will walk on the path that we will walk based on the footprint that God has left and then we lose our way? No, no, no. Yet do I walk through the valley of I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and the staff. They what? Comfort me. Listen, God is the supernatural navigator of a man's life. Yes, sir. Only if the man gives himself to the footprint, to the footprint that he leaves behind, to the footprint that he what he leaves behind. You cannot miss it. You cannot miss it if you plant yourself or connect your life with the footprint God leaves behind. I want to prophesy, prophesy. that 2021, as I speak now, it shall be perfected. Amen. Your 2021 shall be perfected. Amen. Your 2021 shall be perfected. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, I want you to walk to five people and say, God's way is perfect. Walk to five people and tell them, God's way is perfect. And it will perfect you. It shall 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 perfect you. In the name of Jesus. His ways are perfect. Number seven. Who is this God? Is a comforter. The God that has promised to do a new thing in your life and my life is a what? A comforter. Is a comforter. Let me say something. It's funny. So, whilst we're in the building, we're here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're sleeping here. Yeah. yeah. Mama called me. She said, honey, you need to take it easy. I said, why? He said, you know your hair just growing back. <laughs> Don't let stress take it again. I said, of all the things you can call me to tell me, you're telling me the hair is just growing back. She said, I'm just telling you, I don't want any patch. <laughs> Listen to me. Even when it, the team went to sleep, I tried to sleep. I keep my, I could, sleep could not come. The Bible says, he gave it his beloved sleep. He gave me sleep. My body did not want to sleep. Because I was consumed with what needs to be done. We're having a three days major pro, a, a three days major conference. 
in less than a week and a half's time. So we need to be well organized. And then building matter comes up. I could not sleep. I said, Lord, where would I start from? What am I going to do? But the Bible says in John chapter 14 verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. The word means no matter where you are with that problem, he will find you. No matter how deep in the hole you are, he will find you. No matter how dark it is, he will find you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. John chapter 14 verse 26 says, But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said to you. Listen, I want to pray. Anybody under the sound of my voice right now who is in any way discomforted by the pain of life, by the troubles of life, I prophesy the comforter will find you tonight. You shall be comforted by God. Have you lost a job? Have you lost business? Have you lost loved ones? I prophesy that Jehovah through his spirit will comfort you. Jehovah through his spirit will comfort you. Jehovah through his spirit will comfort you. In the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor you shall be comforted. You shall be comforted. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who oh, is this God? Number eight. Is the way, is the truth, is life. Many of us know that, but do we actually understand it? John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, no man cometh. Child of God, whatever you're going through, Jesus is the way. Stop listening to your doctors over the great physician. Stop listening to lawyers over the counselor. Stop listening to men over God. Many of you consult your girlfriends when going through problems and not praying to God at all. Many men you consult, you consult your parents, your mother. Your mother is in her 80s, you are in your 50s. You are still, you are still a mommy's boy. Grow up. God, through Jesus, is the way. Jesus says, I'm the way, I'm the what? The truth and the life. No one comments to the Father but through me. Whatever you're going through, speak to Jesus. Speak to, see, things are easy if only we, we, we engage. The Lord told me that by the, this in, in, in the month of September, I said by the 9th of December you will have a testimony. I didn't know what it was. But now I understand it. I, I, I'm not communicating. You might have received a prophecy that seems to be um, it may be false or like what's happening. But believe me, if God has said it, he will do it. Amen. If he's promised it, he will fulfill it. Amen. I'm, I'm not communicating. God will never say what it, he has no intention to fulfill. He will never do what he has no intention. He will never do what he has no intention to perform. He's not a liar. It's not a man to lie. Now that he's a son of man to change his mind to repent. God does not speak to impress. No. God speaks to address. God does not speak to entertain. God speaks to, en to what not just enlighten us but to edify us. I want to pray tonight. I want to speak over someone's life tonight. Praise sir. Under the sound of my voice, it seems that your life has been surrounded with lies. I prophesy that the truth in Christ takes hold of your life now. Amen. Where it seems that you've lost your way, I prophesy you shall be directed by the way maker now. Amen. I prophesy that where life seems to be zapping out of you, I prophesy restoration now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Is this God number nine? I'm giving us 12. Who is this God number nine? He's a God that helps where men don't help. God is your only helper. Men don't help. Listen, men don't help. God will touch a man 
to execute his agenda to help. Please listen to me. No man can help you. No man helps us. Sir, what God will do is God, he will, he will touch a man to execute his agenda to help us. So, for instance, someone wants to bless you with some money. Man, uh, uh, sir, I want to give you 2,000 pounds. Huh? You receive. So shall it be. Now watch this. I cannot help him. God wants to help him, but I'm just a vessel and a channel through, him, through which he gets what? The resources. No man can help you. Take your eyes off men. Being here at this place, it wasn't man. It was God. And every miracle you are expecting and trusting to see its manifestation and its actualization, it will only come from God. Take your eyes off men. Take your eyes off men. Men will fail you. Men will fail. Men will fail. I have seen men fail woefully. But God never fails. It's our present help in time of need. It's our present help in time of A present help. Tell two people, God is your present help in time of need. God is your present help in time of need. God is your present help in time of need. Look at what Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says. It says, fear thou not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear not. If you see any believer who backslides because of challenges, that believer only attends church but don't have an encounter with the God of the church. Apostle Paul said, what shall separate me from the love? What shall separate me? Nothing should. Nothing should. Your process is what defines your access. Your process proves you and what you carry. When you say, Lord, I love you. I love you, Lord. Do you know the song? With all my heart. Oh, oh, to be with you is all I I love you, Lord, with all my heart. Then God give you one small problem. You curse him. No. You can be anointed, eh? but yet fail the test of your love for him. You can be a great preacher, but fail the test of the Jesus you are calling. Do you know every time I preach this message, the standard of this word, my heart gets weighed, tried and trusted, with, tried and tested with it. God will test it. Like, let me see if truly what you are saying, you too can you can stand it. Any pastor that preaches what he hasn't personally experienced is only a motivational speaker. It's not how long a message is, it's the impact it makes in your life after you've heard it. And I pray that tonight, by the reason of the grace of God upon my life, I prophesy over someone's life who can hear me right now that things will turn around for you. Amen. Things shall turn around for you. Amen. Things are turning 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 around for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Do not live in fear. Do not live in fear, fear thou not. 
tell you about fear thou not. Fear thou not. God is with you. God is with you. Fear thou not. God is our God. He will strengthen you. He will help you. He will uphold you with the right hand of his righteousness. Two more points quickly we pray. Please be seated. Who is this God we are talking about? The God we're talking about is the God of all grace. When I mean all grace, without grace, no man can be great. Without grace, you cannot rise in life. Without grace, you cannot be promoted at work. Grace is what makes life work smoothly for you. Grace is the oil that stops your life from working with friction. But I say, grace is that oil that makes you, that stops your life working with friction. Where it is rough for others. The, 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 one of the people that called to apologize, I was begging over the phone, talk, was talking to mama. And they were begging and begging. You know what he said? He said, I don't understand. He said, I deal with properties and I have a list of churches looking for building six months they've not seen. You had only 15, 16 days you didn't only see a building, you found a building in a prime location in London. Do you know that having a, running a church in this county town, finding a building is, 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 is now impossible. You know why? The government wants to turn county town to an ULES. Is it ULES or ULES? ULES. ULES, not ULES. Not at all, sir. Uh -huh. They want to turn county town to ULES. Uh -huh. Ultra low emission zone. Why is that so? Because they are building skyscrapers now. I was searching for a two-bedroom apartment in one of these skyscrapers. When I saw the price, I respected myself. <laughs> <laughs> the two-bedroom is not bigger than this altar. See, see sofa here, yeah. single sofa, single sofa, TV. That is city room. You pass here, this is kitchen. Bedroom, bedroom. One bathroom, one toilet. No car park. 780,000. I said, what am I buying? Space in the air. What am I buying? A box. If I take 780,000 pounds to Northamptonshire, I will buy castle. Big one. But that is the agenda now. In Kanye Town, they are raising structures so high like the days of Babel. So, they, they, they said they didn't understand how we'll find a place in this place. You know, but this is not the... This, what we're, God, God is still working something out. I don't know what it is. All I can thank God is that I am here today. Amen. Am I communicating? Just watch out our crossover conference. You will know that there is a God in heaven. Even, listen, I want to, re, I want to release a decree now. The, the blessing you were meant to get in crossover, you will start getting it from tonight. Hey. The blessing that an angel has carried with your name from the cross of, for, for the crossover conference, I prophesy that blessing you start enjoying it tonight. Amen. 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 You start enjoying it tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your neighbor, you're walking into your miracle this you're week. Your you're walking into your blessing this week. You're walking to your, you're walking to your joy this week. Come on, come on, tell the neighbor. They said, we don't understand how you would have gotten this place in such a short space of time. And the location. If you want to get here by train, it's two minutes walk. Train station just there. Eh? There is parking at McDonald's just behind us. There's parking behind the cathedral there that can take about 20, 30 cars in a prime location. And when we got in here, the space, now let me, let me, let me, let me, let me bust your bubble. Do you know that the price that we were given for this place is cheaper than Dagenham? <laughs> Do you understand that? It is cheaper than Dagenham. The price we're paying here. I don't want to call the price. 
Let's keep it there. That's all I'll say. Just know it is cheaper. We have a hall for the children at the back. Yes. So, all you children, why are all the children's ministry teachers? Stand up now if I come and catch you. Those that I've, I've spoken to. Stand up now, country one. I'll come to you. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You're looking. Where are all of them? No, you're not children. You, 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 you scare our children. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Cheaper. The Bible says, for I will be your re reward. Listen, when, see, when God is taking you through it, trust him. Do what? I feel like sharing all the testimony, but I will hold it. Let's keep some things. There are some things we don't share with mouth. It's good to see it with eyes. Listen, those that have been waiting to see your downfall, they will see God do good things in your life. Amen. They will see God do good things in your life. Amen. Those that have been waiting for your sorrow, your tears of joy, your tears of pain, your tears of sorrow, they will see your tears of joy. The people that said gallow and said you will hang in that gallow, they will perish in that gallow. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whilst we are standing, we take this one and we pray. Remember, it's anointing for ground. What? Breaking the ground. Who is this God I want to tell us about that has promised to do a new thing in our life? Number 11 or number 12? Number 11. It's a God that is not slack. It's not slack concerning his word. The Bible says in 2 Peter 3, 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us world. Not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to what repentance. God is not slack. If he had said I will do it. No, no, no. Not he will do it. If he said I will do it. It means he has done it. We are just about to catch up with what he has done. Am I communicating? There is no prophecy God has given us this year that has hanged. Go and check. Everything God said will happen this year. They're happening one by one. Remember I said 2022. Please. At, let, me, let me not go into the cr crossover conference, but I will just say one thing to you. I said the Lord said 2022. It's time to start investing where? Back home. Start investing where? Where? I'm talking about location. Back home. Back home. You have British passport. Doesn't make you a national. It just gives you pass to reside here. Now look at what the government just passed. The bill just passed to law. With your British passport, they can make you stateless. They can revoke your passport without letting you know. I mean, if you don't know. Right now in England, you can be here thinking you're a British citizen. <laughs> and it has been revoked. That's how things are. They even have the right to revoke the, the nationality of someone born here just because your father was from, from Cameroon. So nothing, you think in it, in it, in it yourself now. In it yourself now. The Lord said, invest back home. Get lands. Next year, the Lord said, agriculture. Invest in things. Agriculture, land. Put invest, investment. Am I communicating? Yes, investment. God is not slack concerning his promise. The way God promises us things is through the prophetic. He speaks to us. He reveals his mind to us. It's not slack to bring it to pass. We're going to pray this night. Father, everything that needs to break, every place, every area in my life that needs to break for me to rise up, for me to start building, for me to lay foundations of great project, Father, by power, break it. Amen. By what? Power. By power, break it. Break 
breaking the ground is not talking about, I'm, I'm not talking about, the, I'm not just breaking ground, no. I'm talking about things that need to break for us to build in life. Am I communicating? Things that need to break for us to build in life. For us to build in life. Jesus, the parable about the seed. What's the parable about the seed? Some fell by the wayside. Some fell on rocky ground, stony ground. Some fell on good soil. Some fell on soils with thorns. It's only the one with good soil. The seed went in. No man can build a house without first breaking the ground. This prayer point is concerning 2022. That the, the, the things you want to experience in 2022, you want to break the ground now. The project you, because many of you are going to build houses in 2022. Yes. Are you listening to me? You're going to buy a house in 2022. Yes. No, no, no. Um, you. The month of August, I see you and your family in a four bedroom house. You and your family. It's a new house. August. Next year. So you need to pray. You have to break the ground now. Am I communicating? There are, there are projects that many of you, many of you, many of you will build, raise up projects in 2022, but you need to break the ground now. That's what this service is about. Breaking the ground. So you're going to pray. Every resistance in the ground stopping me from what? Building. What are you waiting for? Be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands. Now, when I say build, I'm not talking about the physical structure. I'm talking about your vision. With your eyes closed, begin to visualize the visions you have, your projects. The magnitude of them. Now you're going to pray. Every resistance stopping me from building my vision. Yes, Lord. Father by power. Locate and destroy. Amen. Lift your voice and say, My Father, my Father, my father, my father. as I begin to pray, begin to pray. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, every resistance, every resistance, every resistance, every resistance stopping, me stopping me from laying the foundations the foundation. of great projects, stopping, stopping me from building in life as I pray, Father, Father. father Locate now. Locate. Break that ground. Break that ground. Lift your voice. Open your mouth. Begin to fire prayer. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Break it. 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 Break. 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 Every resistance stopping me from building. Stopping me from building. Break. 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 Break, 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 break. Break. Break, break, break. Every resistance. Are you praying? You can never lay foundation of you without first breaking the ground. To break for me to build projects in life. Break be broken. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Break. Break. I will build well. I will build well. Every resistance. Every resistance. Break. Jesus. Amen. Still pray. 
every stubborn ground. Every stubborn ground. Rejecting my fruitful seed. Be destroyed tonight. Are you listening to me? Every stubborn ground. Rejecting my what? Fruitful seed. What I'm trying to say. How can you be gifted. But yet isolated. How can you be skilled. But yet not brought. Before kings. How can you be diligent. But yet you keep meeting mean men. Whereas the Bible says, show me a man diligent in business. He will stand before kings and not mean men. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. This week, I saw people coming in and out of this place. Sometimes, even some people, 4 a.m., 3 a.m. It's like, this week has been no sleep here. It's indeed the heaven. Even people around the streets, they've been coming, stopping by the haven. Nobody will sacrifice their night to come here and walk if I am not a diligent man. We're going to pray. Every stubborn ground rejecting my fruitful seed. You see, address the ground. You ground. Lose, lose your hold over my seed. Let my seed go down. See, under the ground, or let's say under the surface of the ground is what we call soil. Soil. The soil is not the surface. The soil is the content under the surface. It's what makes it grow. But, you know, there is a mystery I've seen where I saw a plant grow from a rock. Plants grow from a rock. Even something happened. When we were tidying up the, the, old, the, the building, it was a blank basketball shell. I think one part of the hall was it down there? Plants was growing on the on the on, the, on from the stone there. Yes, sir. Plants, plants growing from stone. If if that plant could survive the the toughness of this stone, please. You see this wall? They are not jokes, so it's not a joke. If you punch it, your hand will crack. I tried to I tried to nail it, didn't work. Heavy drill to drill it. That's what it. But yet plants could grow from stone. Life is not hard. It's the formula you apply. Life is not hard. It's not where you are that matters. Where you are, people will come there if you have what they, what they need. Listen to me. People will come to you. The Gentiles shall come. You see, stop taking your lights to people. Let them find your lights. It says, kings will come to the brightness of thy rising. We're going to pray tonight. Every stubborn ground rejecting my fruitful seed. Give way. Let my seed pass into the soil of fruitfulness. I, I, who wants to pray a prayer? Lift your voice and say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, every stubborn ground rejecting my fruitful seed. As I pray, father, let that ground give way now. You stop on ground. Give way, give way, give way, give way. Let my seed pass. Let my seed pass to the fruitfulness of the soil. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray. Masukataya. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. Every stubborn ground. Rejecting. Rejecting my seed. Stopping my seed from achieving fruitfulness. What are you waiting for? Give way now. 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 Let my seed pass. Let my seed pass. Give way now, give way now, give way now, give way now. Give way now. Let my seat pass. Let my seat pass. To the fruitfulness, to the, to the nourishing of the soil.
My seed will not be resisted. My seed will not be rejected. Are you praying? Are you praying? Give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Let my seed pass. Let my seed pass. Let my seed pass. Jesus. Amen. Lift your hands and pray for you. Every resistance you have faced in life, every stubborn ground, hear people who say, I have walked, man of God, I have prayed, I have invested. Man of God, I don't see the evidence in my life. I prophesy tonight. Prophesy. The stubbornness of the ground gives way for the gives way and creates a safe passage for your seed to touch the soil. Amen. For your seed to touch the soil. Amen. For your seed to touch the soil. Amen. I prophesy that by the anointing, the Bible says the yoke is broken. Every resistance against your fruitfulness, as Yeshua live it and as the Lord live it, that resistance is broken tonight. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy. You will gather harvest. Amen. 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 I just heard the Lord say, Someone is going to break forth to the south. Amen. Someone is breaking forth to the east. Amen. Someone is breaking forth to the west. Amen. Someone is breaking forth to the north. Amen. You are breaking forth on all sides. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophet says, This is the day of the lottery. God is moving in his power again.
receive an anointing tonight to break the breakables, to shake the shakables. Let me share a testimony with you. Now, we went back to Dagenham. Please hear me. This happened. I have witnesses. We went back to Dagenham with a van to go get because we left some things there that the Lord did not want us to take. So I went back to get a few things that I felt led to, to collect. As soon as we get to the as soon as we got to the front of the building, I saw a black veil at the entrance. Black. And then I saw some people inside the hall through the veil. So the King JJ got out of the vehicle and I told him make sure when you get inside the hall tell the people there that you didn't come for trouble you just came to collect some of your items you left behind he was puzzled do you know why when he got to the door the place was empty there was no veil physically there then he came to me and said apostle what are you talking about there's nobody there I said you say what when you know there yes sir they went to the door. I said, I'm seeing people here. Are you not seeing veil? Are you seeing people? He said, sir, we can't see anything. You know, they were meant to go in. They said, we're not going in again. I said, come on, go inside. What are you afraid? So we went in. They were sp There are sometimes God will give you quick notice so that the, so that the enemy don't waste your life. Mm. Some quick notice is not bad thing. Some quick notice is your fast track to promotion. Some quick notice is your fast track to a better location. I thank God for the for I thank God for the gang up there has brought me to a better place. Listen, God will change your level. Amen. May God take you to a better place Amen. where the enemy thought you'd be disgraced. I prophesy by the grace of God upon my life, your feet shall be established in better places, Amen. higher ground, greater heights. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you listening? We went there. I said, look at veil. Black veil. Black. See, there is a time when the enemy is planning something. The Lord, the Lord will quickly take you out of it before he meets you there. The worst thing that can happen to me is people say, he's not a prophet. Why didn't he see it coming? They will try to stereotype you. Even prophets to God will take you through a season of silence and you'll be thinking, Lord, what's happening? Listen, this 2021, What's today's date? 12. 12. That means we have how many days left? Eh? Eight, 18, 19 days. Listen, I want to prophesy something here. Prophesy. On this day, this day where we have broken the ground spiritually, physically, I prophesy that 13th of December, yes. you will break record. Amen. 14th of December, you will break record. Amen. 15th of December, you will break record. Amen. 16th of December, you will break record. Amen. 17th of December, you will break record. Amen. 18th of December, you will break record. Amen. 19th of December, you will break record. Amen. 20th, you will break record. Amen. 21st, you will break record. Amen. 22nd, you will break record. Amen. 23rd, you will break record. Amen. 24th, you will break record. Amen. 25th, you will break record. Amen. 26th, you will break record. Amen. 27 you will break record 28 you will break record 29 you will break I, the Lord changed it the Lord said 29 you will testify hey. Hey. 29 is the first day of the conference you will testify of all the records you will break Amen. you will testify of all the records you have broken Amen. 30th is you will be double testimony yes, 31st it will be triple testimony Amen. 2022 January 1 you will break through into, 2020, into 2022 a champion Amen. you will enter 2022 a champion Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. I want you to select only three people find them well and tell them Sister, brother, we are breaking record. We are breaking record. Come we on. We are breaking record. That's we wonderful record. name. We are breaking record. Jesus. We are breaking record. Oh, breaking record. We are breaking record. Breaking record. Breaking record. Breaking record. Breaking record. Jesus.
lift up your offerings quickly, quickly. There's another section of the service I really want to go into because of time. So lift up your offerings, lift your offerings, please lift up your offerings above your head. Titus, step forward. That powerful name we say, Jesus. I don't mention of your name. That powerful name, Jesus. That powerful name, Jesus. That powerful name. Prophesy tonight, tonight, December the 12th. Now, today's date is strategic 12, 12, 21. Eh? Yes, sir. 12, what? 12, 12, 21. It's not an accident. Why is it that God now did it that today is the day we will break, break, break in this way? 12 is the number of government. Yemi, yemi, yemi. Meaning there is a government being established over the haven. Over this ministry. Are you listening to me? Ah. You are as powerful as the passport you hold. So they say, right? If you take my Nigerian passport to some places, they would tear the passport. It's a very useless passport. Easily. Oh yes, very useless passport. But when you take, take my British passport to another place, they will greet you. There was a time in this country when my mother, in those days, she said when she lands at Ithru Airport in those days, with a Nigerian passport and the Nigerian Naira, they queue up to buy Naira at the airport. They queue up to buy Naira. Now, one pound, one pound is about 700 Naira. That's right. Very useless currency. You are as good as a passport you hold. So they say. But there is a passport above all passports. That's right, sir. It's the passport of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. I want to prophesy as a passport holder of the kingdom. How about that? And I prophesy that the government of heaven will provide for you. Amen. The government of heaven shall supply your needs. Amen. As you give to the Lord today. Drought ends and I prophesy the rain comes. Amen. Drought ends and I prophesy the rain comes. Amen. The rain of increase, the rain of joy, Amen. the rain of blessings, Amen. the rain of multiplying Amen. increase, the rain of wealth, Amen. the rain of prosperity Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be as the Lord leave it. Your hands are blessed. Look at do this. Say my hands are blessed. My hands are Open blessed. your palms and speak to your palms. Say my hands are blessed. My Open your mouth. Say my hands are blessed. My hands are hands blessed. of mine. You now you are operating. You shall operate under the government and the order of heaven. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. 
you will come forward, you're not going to drop the offering in the basket, you will drop it on the altar and you touch the altar and you speak to your hands, I, I put my finances under the government of the kingdom of heaven even though you have given electronically, just come forward and drop the, your lay your hands on the altar as well and those online are, are, are we on zoom? are we on zoom? I was told those on zoom, God bless you, I was told don't worry, we are going to restream this service on YouTube, Apostle TV, amen tonight um, but next week we're going to be back live on Apostolic TV. Amen. I want you to jump forward with Jesus' joy. Thanks for dropping your offerings in a basket on, on, on the altar and you speak over your life concerning your finances. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Is worthy to be praised and adored. So I lift up holy and seed what I call. someone else I can sing, please. How can you be in choir? You don't know song. If you start playing 50 Cent and Snoop Dogg, you start rapping nonsense. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, I didn't pray. Titans, if there's any Titan, just please step forward so I can quickly pray for you. Titans, step forward. Hallelujah. Please, Titans, step forward. Just lift up your right hand so I can pray for you. Hallelujah. Life will not be tight for you. Life shall not be tight for you. I prophesy that the devourer is rebuked out of your life, over your life. You will live life under open heavens. Maturely, prematurely, no devil will touch your harvest. I release the covenant blessings of God's word over your lives. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Please touch my right hands. It is well with you. Just step forward quickly, quickly. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. It is well with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Quick announcement. Please excuse my voice. Is, my voice is gone. Amen. Please, we're carrying on with work um, tomorrow. In fact, tonight, work starts. The team said, mm, Prophet, please now. <laughs> so, we're carrying on with work anyway. Um, we, have the, we have a lot of things to do. You can see wires chains hanging and everything. We've got to do so many things um, as we're preparing um, for our major conference that would be coming up in a week and a half's time away from now. I want to be ready to receive the, um, you know, the saints and the people of God. So please, many of you, you were not sure what was happening through the week. Please forgive us. I was told that some of you did not get text messages. Please forgive us. We didn't we did not um, choose to not send messages out. We actually sent out messages. But for some reason, many did not get them, I was told. Um, but we can see what God has done. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus. We can do better than that. Come on, we can do better than that. We can do better than that. Come on. We can do better than that. 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 
We can do better than that. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. We can do better. Hallelujah. So please be seated. God bless you all. Amen. It's very, it's very humbling to see what the Lord is doing. I know that this is just a kickstart of where it's taking us to. Not just as a community of God's people, but as individuals as well. I just want to use this to bring this, you know, bring to our attention that God has a plan for you and I. His word never fails. Once it's time, nothing can stop it. Once it is time, nothing can hinder it. Once it is time, no power. No power no power but we just need to apply ourselves so please with the with the with more hands on deck the better we finish and we get through things everything you're seeing has happened now in what five five days five days five days the painting the painting was the main work really because the the real the real was proper brick was proper. I'm trying to find the brick. Proper brick. We had to paint the whole thing. Two quotes. First one and second one. And it was pain, is it pain taking? Or is it, was it? Pain staking. With patience. Painting. Painting. Rewiring. But you can see that the work, there's still a lot of work to be done. Please. We will not say come and walk. We don't send, I, I don't send that text, please come and do it. If you don't want to do it, it's your business. One thing God never lacks in is the hands to do work. God never lacks in the hands to do it. God is a build, says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. But this is a thing of joy that we don't even need to be prompted. It's a thing that we should just be what? Joy to be part of it. If nothing challenges you, please, the testimony I shared about the lady, I won't mention names. She said, I lost, she heard, in, she, she heard that she lost a grandchild. But she's thanking God for the privilege to be standing here. I looked, from that night, I had no excuse. Many of us will validate the fact that you went to nine, nine to five. Do dead men go to work? When are, we going to, when are we going to leave this mentality of 9 to 5? Please, there is no future in this 9 to 5. I'm saying this thing. It's good to work and God will continue to give us great jobs. But please, in you is a business. In you, is there are potentials and possibilities that the world haven't yet seen. Please, I'm encouraging us. 2022, is, it's not that year where you're chasing things. It's time for the world to chase what you have. Best it. How many of you want to have your restaurants here? How many of you like to have your restaurants? One, just, stand up, just stand up. Let me see you. The light is in my cabin. So you, one, two. How many of you like to own your own restaurant? You want to own your restaurant? Then stand up now. Why are you sitting there? Your head like uh, upon this rock I'll be in my church. Uh, how many of you would like to go into property business? Stand up. Let me see you. You want to own your own real estate. Aha. How I many of you like to go into construction? Construction. Construction. Engineering. Construction. Uh -huh. How many of you want to own your own nursery school? Your nursery. Your nursery. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. How many of you would like to be a pastor of your own branch? <laughs> now everybody sit down. When you got to that part, pastor, you're your own. He said, oh God call you. He didn't call us. You see that now? <laughs> but listen, when we chase God's own, He will take care of us. I want to encourage everybody. There is something great in you that the world is looking for. The gift of a man, the skill of a man, is what makes room for him. He opens the door for him. I'm really pushing all of you to bet your potentials. You have something in you. Many, how many of you like to open your salon? Air salon, air salon. 
Air salon. Let me see your hands. I want to prophesy into your life now. Where are the air salon? Stand up, stand up. Let me see your faces. Stand up, stand up. One, two, three. Uh -huh. This is what you're going to do. Write the name of your air salon on a piece of paper. Come and drop it on the altar now, quickly. Come and drop it on the altar. I don't know why the Lord is saying that. Drop it on the altar. Quickly. With a seed on it. Put on the altar quickly. Um, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch's, 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 Mishi's Air Salon. That's what you're going to call yours. Mishi's. Yeah? Are you listening to me? Mishi's Air Salon. Write it quickly. Okay. If you know that you want to start a business, to, tonight is breaking the ground service. Write on a piece of paper quickly. I'll come and drop it on the water. Quickly. Quick, quick, quick. That business, put it on a piece of paper. Write it down on a piece of paper. Bold. Not small letters, capital letters, and come and drop it on, on the altar. You know that God has called you to ministry. You want to activate it, write it down. You know that you want to start a particular business. Quickly, quickly, write it down. Write it down. Quick, and come and drop it on the altar. Quickly. Quickly, write it down. Write it down. Just drop it on the altar. Drop it on the altar. Just drop it. Just drop it. Quickly, drop it. Quickly. You have a business you want God to establish. You want to look back this time 2022. Quickly, write it down. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. Now and forevermore. Take glory, say. Take glory, Father. Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Take glory, say, take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Take glory, say. names that has been placed on this altar by this time of life in 2022 as the Lord liveth they would have been established Amen. they would have been established Amen. in the name of Jesus for those who are online um, those watching via Zoom the same prayer I release it to you wherever you are I prophesy that every business you have shall be established in the name of Jesus quick announcement please everyone be seated God bless you um, next week Sunday is our healing service if you know anybody that is sick trust God for a miracle I'm talking about physical creative miracle next week Sunday is our healing service you want healing in your body in your spirit, your soul or any aspect of your body or your life invite them to our healing service 3pm and I know your lives will not remain the same in Jesus' name. So next week's Sunday is themed Mercy Service. Mercy Service. It's our healing service. Please make sure you don't miss it. Come along with your friends and families. I don't care how how, how drastic 
the solution is you are seeking, you will find it. I don't care how, 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 how magnified that, that sickness might look in terms of a doctor's report. I know you will find answers through the great physician in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please just rise up very quickly so we can share the grace tonight. Am I forgetting anything? No? Hallelujah. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus one more time for what he's doing in our midst. Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in our midst. Yes, yes, come on, put those hands together for Jesus, for what he's doing in our midst. Come on, you can do better. He's doing mighty things in our midst. He's doing mighty things in our midst. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hands, we pray tonight. Mama, can you please join us? I want to pray for you tonight that everything that you are trusting God for or you have been waiting for comes Sunday next week you have all in your hands Amen I heard your amen I heard your amen the last time you spent seven days on the mountain you know what you received by this time Sunday next week you will receive greater. Amen. Now I prophesy over everyone's lives that by this time Sunday when you come here, you will be here with a miracle. Amen. You will be here with a testimony. Amen. And those with greater faith, you will be here with testimonies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy that the good thing the Lord is doing, the Lord said, the haven, this is God's end time city of refuge. Where you have been left a desolate, where you have been left isolated, where you have been left rejected, <coughs> I prophesy that in the name of Jesus, the shadow of the Almighty shall hide you. The shadow of the Almighty shall keep you. Amen. The shadow of the Almighty shall teleport you to where you need to be. Amen. The right place, the right time, doing the right thing to get the right result. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy this your week of turnaround. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be as the Lord liveth in Jesus' name. We're going to share the grace now, but please don't rush, don't, don't rush off. Um, we like to those that want a quick tour of the of the of the um, of the of the haven, please. When you're coming here, just a quick catchphrase. We don't say we are going to church. I'm going to the where? Every time you say I'm going to the haven, it simply means you are coming under the grace and covering of God's word that he has given to me for this season. Let me share a testimony with you. Can I have that picture? The one in Tobago. So that the, the picture, the senator, or the one that I am, the new secretary of state. I prophesied early this year that God is bringing revival to the Caribbean. And I said Barbados would be the spearhead of this move of God. What has happened in Barbados now? They are doing things completely different. They are championing, championing everything, even though the leaders are going about it the wrong way. Celebrating nonsense. Rihanna with her braless self is a national hero with a currency. Whilst the grandfathers and grandmothers of the country who fought for the liberation are not, they don't have, they don't have a currency. Rihanna has currency and I don't have currency. That's an insult. Now, two weeks ago, I got contacted from Tobago. How I many of you have been following the election in Trinidad and Tobago? You know, there's been an election there. It happened, and apparently, it was annulled because a party won, but the party that has been the party that has been in power for such a long time did not want to step down, so they canceled the election because they didn't want to win. So they made it a tie. So a woman that has been following the ministry—I won't mention her name. She follows the ministry. She contacted. You can have it. She contacted 
She contacted me. She contacted and said, please, man of God, um, I, cannot, I cannot come open about this thing, but I want to... Um, So we're just trying to get the message. It's not on there. I think it's, it's, I think it's on um, inbox. Apostle, um, Apostle John Ingo inbox on Facebook. Now, she, she contacted and said, please pray. Pray for our nation. We don't want your call. Because in Trinidad and Tobago, they're very deep into witchcraft. Deep, deep. I mean, broad daylight witchcraft. In, especially Trinidad. So they contacted, and when this man contacted, she, wa she wanted me, she was just an intercessor, a genuine intercessor. She, she didn't seek, she wasn't seeking fame. She, she's, a, she's, a woman, she's a woman of God, a minister out there. Please, intercede for my country. I know you, how you have been prophesying and everything you have been saying, even though you have been, you have been speaking, they've been thinking you're lying, or, or you're saying, they said you're lying, but it is true, please pray. So when we started praying, I felt like pray. Once I was praying, the Lord started calling, the Lord called three names. These three names, I did not even know that these three names, they were part of the party that also um, um, took part in this, um, the election that got annulled. So she, I said, who are these people? She said, oh my God, that, those are the names, the first names of the people that wanted to be um, voted into power, but the election was annulled. I said, tell them if they would lift up Jesus in Trinidad, in Tobago, that they will win the election. And I told them, you know what? So, 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 so dates and so, so, so time before the next election, lock yourself up. No political contacts. Don't talk to anybody. Switch off your phone. And as a people, politicians, go and pray on the mountain. I was shocked that they obeyed. They obeyed. Yes. The day, I, the day they were praying, I was praying here. And I said, Lord, if politicians can obey you, <laughs> come through for them all. And do you know that the election took place last week in, in Tobago and the party won the election. 15 nil. There were 15 places. Have you found a picture? There were 15 places. Eh? There, there were 15 places. Oh, I think, I think we, we probably can't find it. There are 15 places they won the election. 15 new. <laughs> Watch this. So, on Thursday, the man, the people that went to pray, they got sworn into office. So it's official now. Amen. We have righteous people ruling in Tobago now. But watch this. The, the opposition party wanted to try it again. But God stopped it. So, the election now went from 15 to nil. Now it's 14 1. So God give them one seat. Listen to me. Why am I saying this? God is still speaking. And what he has said about your life, it will come to pass as well. What he has said about your life, it will come to pass as well. And I pray that this week is a week of prophecy fulfilled in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be as the Lord liveth in Jesus' name. Please, like I said, when you are coming here and wherever you are going to, wherever you are, you're going to say, I am connected to the heaven. I, I know what I'm saying. It's not the building. It's the assignment. It's the word. It's the instruction. It's the covenant move of God for the season. I am connected to the heaven. I am part of the heaven. The heaven means refuge. And God said, this word, this vision I've given you, son, is going to be my end time city of refuge. And I prophesy that everyone connected everyone related, everyone associated, everyone committed to what God is doing here, your life you will never be disgraced. Amen. You will never be left naked. You will never see shame. There shall be no loss. We are a casting down for others. Our testimony shall be that it's a lifting of a rust. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Someone says, surely God's goodness, God's mercy follow me all the days of my life and I vow to dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever and ever in Jesus name Amen I want someone to say this is our watch word from now on I am under the shadow of what of the Lord God what oh my I am what under shadow 
of the Lord God Almighty. You're going to say that to seven people. I'm under the shadow of the Lord God Almighty. God bless you. See you next week, Sunday, 3 p.m. for our service here. Our message service of healing. Make sure you don't miss it at all. God bless you. Everyone on Apostle TV, God bless you. I know you'll be probably watching the replay later. Amen. Um, we couldn't go live because of, of, you're all aware of our change of venue and getting things ready. Um, but next week, Sunday, will be live 3 p.m. United Kingdom time here on Apostolic Television. And I know your life will not remain the same. Those on Zoom, God bless you. Those on Zoom, I pray the hand of God rest upon you. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. Have a good night. Johnny Mess is back. And for those who have their vows, they want to fulfill, those who made pledges to give towards the project, please don't just shoot off. If you want, to, if you want a tour around the building, please, um, one of the officers will direct you. If you want to make inquiries, we have the reception at the back there. Speak to one of the officers and they will direct you accordingly. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Don't Touch That Dial. And what does that mean, you might be asking? Well, Don't Touch That Dial means that our gathering, our live gathering might have ended. Those on you watching on Zoom, the Lord bless you, the Lord bless you. Our gathering might have ended, but there's another episode of Don't Touch That Dial whereby we have Brother Perry coming to tell us about his experience today. He will tell us what he thinks about this new building that we are in, in Canning Town, in Vincent Street. It's the haven. Hallelujah. Can I get a glory? It's the haven. Is the haven. It is our new and improved address. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Come over here. Come over. Come over. What do you think about this new place today? I just want to know. to prophet yesterday that he doesn't have to keep looking around corners anymore he can just look at everyone directly and directly. you know i think yeah it's brilliant and that's just so much space now and yeah and what would you tell those watching for later on youtube and those watching on zoom right now what would you tell them how would you encourage them to get down to this place well well from what they've seen of the service you know didn't take me long and I was here. So, yeah, get down here and come and enjoy yourself. And worship the Lord with everyone. And worship the Lord with everyone. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. And for my personal experience, I have been in this place. This is the first time that we're holding our service in this place. And truly, 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 I have been blessed. The atmosphere is warm. The environment is beautiful. Can you admire our walls? Look at our altar. Look at our pulpits. Look at the instrumentalist. The Lord is really, really turning things around for our good. Therefore, you must meet us next week, Sunday, 3 p.m., 3 p.m. You cannot miss it at the Haven. Yes, the haven. You cannot miss it whatsoever. We are based in Canning Town. We are based in Vincent Street. You cannot miss it. Thank you so much for joining us once again for this anointing for groundbreaking gathering. The Lord bless you. What does it mean to be in partnership with Johnny Newman Ministries? Well, it's committing to be consistently loyal and supportive to the work on ground through your prayers and through your finances. Your monthly pledge helps to transform lives without limitation all across the globe via media production, that is, live broadcasting on Apostolic TV, Apostolic Invasion conferences, and ministering to those in prison. As a partner, your right and also help to fund the Yes Project, a vision given to Reverend Josephine Inuma by providing everyday essentials such as food and clothing to the less fortunate, assist with disaster relief aid, and help reaching out to sexually abused women. Join our Destiny Partner family as we help to uphold the right hand of Apostle John Inuma by being loyal and supportive. For more information, contact the admin line as shown on screen and visit www.johninuma.ministries for more information. Thank you for watching. God bless you. If you desire to have one-on-one -on -one prophetic counseling with Prophet John Inuma concerning the mind of God for your life, please follow these four outline steps on how to do so. Number one, visit www.johninuma.ministries.com. And number two, click on Booking Online and scroll down to one to one 
Number 3. Click on Book Now to be redirected to a page to select the date and time for your counseling. Then press Next. Number 4. Fill out your personal and payment information, then click Pay Now. For more information, contact the number on your screen. Reverend Josephine Enuma is the visionary behind the Dynamic Woman collection. You can find your own, whether it's a hoodie, a mug or a face mask to even a t-shirt on johnenuma.com, eBay or Teespring. Please follow and subscribe to social media platforms as follows at the Apostolic Movement Church on Facebook, at Josephine Enuma if you wish to follow the First Lady, and at Apostle John Enuma. If you do have an Instagram account and would like to stay connected, you can also do so at the Dynamic Womb Man, at the Dynamic Womb Man, at the Apostolic Movement Church to stay connected to the church page, and at Apostle John Enuma. If you also have a Twitter account, you can follow the man of God at Mr. John Enuma at the APOS movement to follow the church page that's at the APOS movement and to stay connected to the woman of God you can follow at the dynamic womb one that's at the dynamic womb number one you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Apostolic TV this is a platform where our live services and online services are streamed with edifying content that will uplift strengthen and empower you and to stay connected to the man and woman of god family channel you can do so at the enumers that's at the enumers thank you and god bless you did you know that john enuma ministries in collaboration with the apostolic movement church and the serving overseer apostle john enuma has several different youtube channels besides apostolic tv that are geared towards different segments then if you didn't then now you do First up, we have the Enumas. This is where you get to see Apostle John Enuma and Reverend Josephine Enuma, the man and woman with top to suit, where you can actually get to sit back and have a laugh. <laughs> Next up, we have the JEM Libration Music. If you wish to dance, if you wish to celebrate Jesus in some high praise or enter into the Holies of Holies, go on ahead and subscribe to JEM Liberation Music. Then we have Apostolic TV Radio. If you wish to have on the go audio played inside your car or on your way to work, go ahead and listen to some intense teaching by Apostle John Enuma. If you also wish for your toddler, your preteen, teen, and adolescents to have a more in-depth knowledge about the Word of God, let them go on over and subscribe to Apostolic Kids TV. God bless you.